Hey everybody, it's James. We're back and God, the light. Let's see if we can't autofocus better. Ah, eh. oh, there it is. It's better now. Welcome back to Corby Town and our first game of the season versus Leicester. But before we do that, I wanted to go over and talk to you guys about the season expectations. You can see the season expectations. There you go. Arms are wide out, but you can't see because camera. Um, the board have given us some pretty reasonable expectations. They want us to be top half, which I think is doable in the league. They want us to reach the first knockout rounds in the European champion in the Champions League, which I think is once again doable because Champions League. Uh, we just have to get out of the group stage and hopefully, easy group. Uh, FA Cup. They want us to reach the quarterfinal. Copyright Cup, they want us to reach the quarterfinal. And they didn't want us to be outclassed in the Community Shield, which I think we did. I think they'd be Club Vision. Club Vision. Pass. Nice. Uh, good for us. So we're already going there. We're also looking for an affiliate club. We're improving our training facilities, and we're still building the new ground, which will be done at the end of the season. So we will get to move into the new ground, and uh, I'm going to be taking some liberties with the name of that new ground. You will see when we officially move in. But that being said, let's talk team selection. I need to be going James. Fafana? I mean, Gillett is great and also got injured in training and is coming back to fitness in two days. Yeah, I know. And uh, Carnival. Just got back from winning the Olympics. So he can't play. So yeah. Yeah. This is this is what we're gonna go with. Eh, let's actually bring Ulysses Githrim Henrique in here. So this is the team we're gonna go with. Aslani. Also, uh Montez is hurt and is out for two to four weeks. So Mark Cock takes his place on the bench. And uh Min Han isn't fit. Because he had a, that gashed leg. So Silvar takes his place in left back. So Aslani, Bedov, Jebi, Hashimoto, Silvar, Ambrose, and Brum with Valdison, Bae, Scrivener, and Fafana leading the line. That gives us a bench of Adam Watts, Mark Cock, Fernando Jamie, Chris Hewitt, Grethrim Henrique, Alan Milinkovic, and Don Jurgen. Also, Ulysses came in. I'm not showing you him, him to you guys yet because uh, I haven't done the face pack thing. So he looks like this. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, we're not doing that yet. You'll we'll see what he looks like in the next one when I actually do the face pack thing. Because I've recorded this exactly after the cup game. So here we go. Let's submit the team. Watts is concerned with lack of familiarity with the foreign nation, so is Chris Hewitt. Okay, but everybody else is fine with it. As long as everybody else is fine with it. Watts comes into the game, bad things have happened. Hewitt comes into the game, well, Chris Hewitt. Uh, Graham is taking the armband again. Come on, guys, show me what you can do. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Almost everybody believes me. Uh, injury and forced absence. The match is going to be... Scotland admittedly has been kind of situation. Uh, still a challenge, but we'll be able to deal with it confidently. The absence will prove too costly. Uh, I'm very happy with him. I have no worries. And they're playing a 4-3-3 uh, with a bunch of new people coming in. Uh, this is the Northamptonshire Derby. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be it. This is going to be the new Derby in the Premier League. Um, since we don't have Northampton up here with us yet, but free and clear, let's see what we can do at the King Power Stadium to kick off away from home. Oh yeah, Mouse is here again, guys. Hey, Mouse! Hooray! As Silvar throws in to get headed away by Smith Rowe, and they are immediately looking to counter on us as Hammond. Still Hammond. Aslani got a hand to that. Now Watts and Reyes gave up a lot more of those than last time so the fact that Aslani has already made a save like that is great as Jebby clears it away and now it's our turn to counter Fafana gets tackled by Becklin but that's all right it's okay we are playing attacking we are looking good 
I am happy with the way the boys are. Uh, Yannick Gillett may not be on the field, but I, which is really why we bought Fafana. It's why we have him do exactly this kind of stuff. Uh, bueno Sasso is injured, so immediately he gets taken off of Christensen. Uh, all right. We're forcing him to subs right away. Valdison, here we go. Fafana to Bae. Bae finds Hashimoto. Hashimoto with an interesting... Oh, crossover to find Valdison. Valdison shoots and gets hit for a corner. So here we go again. Valdison. We know this is what he's good at. We've got Hashimoto and Jebby who are both good at heading the ball, but it finds Ambrose instead, who gets skips past Wolf. You actually got to see him skip past. Oh, and Smith row. That is a foul. And here we go. And nope, we're not going to see that free kick. As the team is looking, I mean, we're putting plenty of shots on target. Bedov's in here, gets it to buy. Ooh, okay, that's a thing. Oh, Thrum, why did you give up on it? You had it. Oh, Fafana, good run back there to get it. Bye on here. Bye, side netting. Uh, okay, breathe, Jim. Breathe, it's fine. It's the first game of the season. They, You haven't had too much preseason. The guys aren't really gelled yet and match fit. You're also missing your one of your better midfielders because they're away. Hashimoto hasn't been in the team because he was also away. Valdison has to find his form again because uh, he was on fire last year. And you're not, and you're missing your star striker. And we are not completing as many passes as we usually do. That wasn't a highlight. We have a lot of balls here in their third. All right, Scrivener on it to Ambrose. Ambrose, can you find somebody? Nope. Okay. Ambrose again. Finds bed off. Bed off. Get the cross in. You're good at this. Cross the Oh, Scrivener gets it. That counts. <laughs> it took a cheap little dribble in, but that's all it takes sometimes. Scrappy goals as, <laughs> as bed off gets it. Throws it into the danger area here. Low ball in. It hits off the keeper. And Scrivener is able to just poke a toe at it and get it to go in. Corby 1, Leicester 0. Oh, God, it's never a good sign when they go right into a highlight here. As Wolf finds Smith Rowe, Hammond, Hashimoto. Good tackle. And we looked to break, and we still do with Brum on it. Finds Fafana. Fafana! Takes the shot with his right foot. And... Everything's still going here. Jebby to Fafana to Bae. Bae on now. He's got to find the cross in there. Oh, God, that's a penalty. Send him off, ref. Send him off. Penalty awarded. Who's taking it? I have no idea. It's Ambrose. Ambrose to step up. Ambrose shoots. He scores it. There we go. Now this is looking like the Corby town we know and love. Now the boys are fine. <laughs> now they're clicking. Ambrose just with conviction to left-hand side. Keeper goes the right way. I don't think he would have even gotten it even if he tried. <sighs> okay, now we can breathe. I don't know why that wasn't a yellow, by the way. Smith Rowe on it here. And Jaffet Tanganga gets some one back. As we give up a rare header from a corner. As Jaffet does beat everybody else and Aslani can't get to it in time. Well, it won't really cause too much of a threat. I'm not really too worried. You give up one from a set piece, you give up one from a set piece. That happens. The important thing is we're having some good XG. We're not really dominating the match. Well, XG-wise we are. And that shot, I mean, they're point three, So they've had three shots, three on target, with only one being the goal. And uh, you know what? You're going to give up a headed corner from time to time. Bedov has lost possession, but that's what he does. He loses possession. He's a good number of touches in the penalty area. Vladitsyn having a rare bad game. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's go back in. As they have made... Did they make two changes already? So they made all three of their changes. Interesting. Silvar to Valadison. <laughs> cross the ball over here to Brum. Great little cross ball. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so, it's so beautiful. It's so good. 
look at this Valdison cross balls here. Brum, bang, picks it up. Him, through ball, banged, bye, bye, through ball to Scrivener, Scrivener, first time shot, back of the net. 3 1 Corby Town, two goal lead, restored. Thank you very much. God, that was a beautiful just back and forth play here. Silvar to Scrivener and gets knocked around, but here's Hashimoto. Oh, Fafana. Oh, how did that not go in? <laughs> wow. That one was that one was really close to going in, but Fafana almost had his first. We're getting some good through balls in here now. It's by the way, Scrivener on a brace. Very nice. Has uh Wolf on it here. Is that Valdison tracking back? Way to go, Valdison. Putting in the defensive work today. Ball comes in. Bedoff clears by. Has room to run. But he finds Ambrose instead. Who sends it back to Baye. Can cut inside. Finds Valdison. Who, there we go. Scrivener for his hat trick. Valdison. There he is. You know he wouldn't have waited long for that. Beautiful long ball. Baye skips past his man. Finds Valdison. Takes the first time shot. But immediately reacts. Gets it to Scrivener. Who poachers it right in first time. You know what? Scrivener was probably like, you know what, guys? I got this. I got this. You, we had we had Baye score a lot of goals. I was the assister. It's my turn to shine. You know what? I'm fine with that. He's got his hat trick. Ambrose contributing from midfield. Hashimoto and Jebi. Aslani looking good. Slivar. I mean, hell. I like the fact that Slivar is having a good game. Let's make some changes here. Let's get some people in. Who is tired? Well, Scrivener is tired. We don't really have anybody who can. No, we can. Let's bring in Henrique for his debut. Scrivener will take off for Malinkovic. Fafana, I'll let keep going. Anybody else I want to bring on? Let's do the two for now. Let's make those changes. Milinkovic, I, I, I want to get rotated in. And, and Henrique, this is his debut. Let's give him, you know, 20 minutes out there to see if he can affect the game at all, but also get him up to Premier League speed. As they've dropped back from the 3 3 3 and gone to a 4 2 3 1. With Hataro as a target, man. That's a bold choice, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Uh, Bedov has suffered a bruise. Yeah, let's take him off. No need to risk, risk it. Jamie is on the bench for exactly these reasons, and we have seen that he is a competent. What a ball! Oh, how did he not finish that Fafana? But Henrique, that was a ball! Oh. Well, it deserved a better finish. It deserved to go in, and I guess goal line technology said it was not going in this time. Say, Levy, it's all right. Boys looking good. Oh, they've gone back to the three at the top. They're advanced forward, deep line forward, and target man. Not exactly the way I'd run that, but you know what? I'm not one to do it. And uh, there we go. A convincing 4-1 win against Leicester with uh, Ambrose picking up a penalty and Scrivener with a hat trick. Deserved it. Brum, Ambrose, Henrique had looked very good, very strong with an XG of four. Uh, good win, boys. Well done. They should be happy. I am very happy. Scrivener getting man of the match ob for obvious reasons. Classy from Scrivener. Mm, 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 mm. Feels good, man. Feels absolutely good. Classy. Uh, Gula. Gula. Close look at Tom Scrivener. Where is he from? Gula. Is head coach of Leeds. Um. Um, Leeds. Leeds in tenth. Corby in seventh. Leeds. Leeds. Uh, what's your um? Oh, you don't have a continental competition. That's right. That's right. Tactics here, squad. Does your boy get in here? He doesn't get in here. He doesn't get in the squad. 
Really? Your key player? Fatoshi said, oh, oh, wow. That's why. Fatoshi Sakurai between 10 days and three weeks. Or that's Glenn Taylor. Three weeks and two, four weeks and two months. Wow. I can see why they're looking at us now. Tough, tough break there. Historic rival is Galatasaray. Interesting. It's been interesting. Do I have anybody who's not, like, interesting? Well, we obviously know who's going to be our rival coming up. Leicester. Especially after the spanking we just gave them. Mm, they probably are not too happy about that. Speaking of that, let's throw, let's throw up some shit here in the press conference. Uh, Tom Scriverter's hat trick was a factor in your win today. How would you rate his performance? He'll score goals at any level in any league in any country. I'm sure of it. He'd give us some more. He'd give... Someone like Kylian Mbappe a run for his money. Hell yeah. Rumor that Tom's going to be leaving the club. Uh, I am pleased that he's playing and I remain confident he'll stay at the club. Head coach, I'm going to the crowd today. Uh, there's no way he's leaving. He should look elsewhere. Do you feel the upper hand of Brooklyn when it comes to the mind games now? Uh, I don't think it matters. Mind games have no real effect. Uh, there is a large well of support for the fans. The eye capturing passing style. We expect you have made a commitment to play it that way. Because it's literally in what the player board want us to do. You have to play it this way. Uh, any new news on anything? Scrivener is absolutely happy with us. He is also a highly influential player. Well, he played like it. I was absolutely sublime with what he did. I loved what he how he played. He's a great asset to have on the team. Quick on that left-hand side, too. Pace. Pace on the wings. And uh, finishing in the front. That's what we like to see. Valdison had an uncharacteristic poor game, but I think that's just because he needs to get going. Um, he, I mean, you also can't expect him to have a, a, a season like he just did last year, as Scrivener is made the team of the week. Player developed, Parrot Sporting, declining a bit. Bancroft is now a Championship League striker nowadays. That's fine. Jean Lucas. Is a good championship player. He's on loan at Haberdeen. Let's see if he can tear up the Scottish division. That's Scotland, Scotland, right? Ireland, the Irish division. Let's see if he can tear it up up there. Brum is could be better than Valdison. Ulysses could be better than Fafana. Oh, thank God that was fun. It's always worried the first game, and uh, we hit the player West Brom next. Let's talk about when we're going to come back. I think competition-wise, when is the scheduled calendar? We're going to come back for the Manchester United game. And we're going to come back for the Manchester United game because, number one, it's Manchester United. Number two, it's going to be after the Champions League group draw. So we're going to see who we are playing in the Champions League. Fun hint, I've tested whatever my, my, my team is like. We're okay. I can actually register all the players on my team right now. I don't think Ulysses counts uh, without Ulysses, but I can register everybody else in the team. So that's good. So we'll see you for Manchester United. I got to whip West Brom. Then I got to topple Tottenham, who are first in the league, but eh, they're Tottenham. I can say this because I am a Tottenham fan. And let's be honest, there's nothing more Spursy than Spurs to be top of the table for a little while and then all of a sudden get kicked in the chops by a lower league, a team they're expecting to get. You know, just roll over. We're also supposed to expect to, we're, we're expected to be seventh when they're supposed to be sixth, though. Anyways, I've been James. You've been you. This has been Corby Town. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.